Uh, welcome back to another video. Uh, today we're going to, uh, first off actually, I apologize for the wind noise, it's super windy out. And my stuff's blowing away. Um, but there isn't much I can do about it, so I'm going to try and uh, minimize it as best I can. Uh, but today we are going to install the Chico Raceworks um, coil and plug kit that works with Link ECU specifically. It's a plug and play kit. It's super easy. Um, I'm going to walk through how to install this for you guys um, so you can see. Uh, but yeah, it's a pretty cool kit. Uh, unfortunately, we won't be starting the car on uh, the coil and plug kit today. Uh, I still don't have... Uh, I d in the last video, you saw that I uh, needed to make another fuel line uh, for feed. Uh, that is all the stuff all, all the like stuff for that is in on the way uh, And since I don't have it, I can't do it, uh, but I will install this stuff uh, and just get it ready uh, I, don't, I don't suppose I'm gonna have any issues with it um, but You never know so I'll make it kind of uh, if, if I have to go back and like uninstall it I just will do that. It's not that big of a deal um, uh, But yeah, so let's go ahead and get started on this and Shouldn't take that long. It seems pretty easy. Everything's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, you have to like repin one wire. Uh, I'm not going to repin it. I'm actually just going to cut it uh, and then uh, just like tap into it. So we'll do that and yeah, let's get started. Like I said, this kit was made so that it would be pretty easy to install. You have the Racer X uh, coil on plug and coil adapter bracket. So you brought this to the valve cover. Uh, then you have this, which covers the distributor where the cap and rotor goes. Uh, and then you have the actual harness itself. Uh, so we'll start with getting everything set up on the valve cover. Uh, then we'll move to the distributor, and then we'll work with the harness. Weather is so dumb. I don't know if you guys can see, you probably can't, but it's snowing. But the sun's kind of out. Whatever. Anyway, uh, so we're going to start uh, by just popping out the uh, spark plug wires uh, so we can see how this uh, bracket goes on here. I know that it uses one of one of the existing bolts or something like that. Whoa, this spark plug wire is looped. Well, good thing we're getting rid of these. Uh, so we'll just uh, put that on the side there. Anyway, um, I'm pretty sure it goes something like this. Yeah, it goes like this. So it comes with a couple bits of hardware, which are here. Um, but I'm not sure exactly what you need to reuse and what you don't need to reuse, so we'll just kind of do that as we go along. Uh, but if you have a vacuum line here, just pop that off. You zip off this bolt, and then you should be able to slip it over there. It's pretty good fitment on that. Uh, so we'll, now we'll uh, just smack some bolts in, and then that's installed. It's that easy. Alright, so uh, to recap, it's pretty easy like I said, uh, you just use that, the like the stock 10 bolt that was there, uh, then it slips over here where your vacuum, will go, vacuum line will go, uh, this one's going to be kind of off, that's just kind of the nature of the valve cover, but it uses that longer allen, which I will uh, snug up, and then uh, yeah, you just kind of smack these on and it's that easy. So next we're going to go to the distributor, I'll uh, pull that cap and rotor off, and then uh, get moving. I'm going to probably have to turn the fuel pump off though, so, because of that line. So we're going to do that real quick. To pull the two bolts that are on the cap here and down here, you just need to uh, pop the rotor off. There's two screws, uh, depending on how it's oriented, and they're on like the outside of this like big circle. So be careful with those, don't round those off, and then pop them out, and we'll be able to be ready to put the, uh, uh, the uh, cap on. So I'm going to be straight with you guys. I have never changed this rotor since I've had this car because it's been fine. I changed the cap, but the rotor's been fine. I was able to get one of the bolts out, but the other one was already rounded. Like, as soon as I put the screwdriver in, it was screwed. So, 
got to do this. Alright, so I wanted to be careful uh, while I was doing that so I didn't film. But I had to cut up the distributor a little bit just to get to the bolt to cut a slit in it, or the screw. Uh, but yeah, and I didn't want to hit the, uh, the actual teeth on the distributor. So I got those off, now I just got to clean this up and put the cap on. And there it is, nice and pretty on there. Uh, let me see what... Uh, yeah, so that's on, and now we're going to move to the harness. So if you remember from earlier, I said the harness is pretty easy. It is. Uh, this goes into either the igniter or coil. Uh, so you obviously unplug those because you're not going to be using them anymore. Uh, and then you uh, plug it into there. So we're going to do that real quick. This goes right in there. That's it for that. And then we're gonna run this uh, DT connector through to the uh, the trunk where the ECU is. It'll fit through there. Yeah, well, let's go on the, let's go on the trunk side and check it out. So this is real simple. It just plugs into the other DT connector, and this end of that DT connector goes on the expansion harness uh, side of the ECU. So I'm gonna swap that real quick and get this plugged in. All right, so got that, and we'll just plug it in real quick. Boom. All right, so moving on to the next thing. All right, I went ahead and grounded the harness after plugging it in. I grounded it to this like, uh, let's see if we can zoom in, this like uh, thing right here, uh, I think it's from like where a bolt or uh, a bracket came off, so it's grounded to there, I mean I gotta finish tightening it down, uh, but that's where it's grounded, so I'll show you guys now everything that you have to do in the software, uh, you also have to repin a wire, but I'll show you that as well, um, and then yeah, we'll do the software stuff for now because the camera's dying, and give it a chance to charge. What's up guys, uh, so uh, now I'm going to show you guys how to uh, configure everything in your ECU, set your dwell, and change your ignition settings. So uh, first thing you want to do is go into your ECU settings and pull up your ignition main table, but apparently I can't type so it didn't pop up, <laughs> but ignition main, uh, change it from distributor to direct spark. You can leave all this stuff the way it is, uh, and then you want to go to your dwell control table and now we're going to make a couple of changes uh, you can kind of leave this stuff the way it is that's completely fine but we do want to change the y-axis so click x in here or type press x whatever uh, in here and we're going to change these values to 6, uh, 8, 10, 12, 14 and 16 uh, and then you know click ok whatever it's going to interpolate or not interpolate, whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh, but we're going to run the same value across all uh, RPMs. So you can click here and then press shift, click out, out over to there, just like, you know, selecting multiple things on anything. Uh, and then 7 for that, 5.8 for that, uh, 4.6 for that, 3.5. Three point and two point four. Cool. These are dwell uh, like settings that I got from SQ Engineering. So if you're out there and you're a pro tuner and all that stuff, and you think I'm wrong, that's fine. Use what uh, you know you want to use. Uh, but this is what I was told to use, so I'm just passing that information on to you guys. Um, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. That's it. I mean, all you have to do is change in your ECU, uh, like what you're doing, you know, like what kind of ignition you have, and then change your dwell. With this particular like wiring setup, I'm pretty sure that you have to uh, assign outputs uh, like five through eight to. It. Let's see, one sec. Let me make sure. I'm pretty sure five through eight ignition drivers five through eight have to be. All right, so what you guys are gonna have to do is 
uh, go to your uh, ignition outputs. You're just going to turn two, three, and four off. You can't turn off one, um, but you're not going to be using one anymore, so it doesn't matter. Uh, but just turn on five through eight if you have that expansion harness, and then just assign assign them to ignition, and you're good to go. So uh, yeah, so I'm gonna shoot it back to live me and uh, close out the video. Thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, I think there will be an update uh, for the Lemons car this weekend that I'll film and uh, put out for you guys. And I should have all my line this weekend, uh, either Saturday if not on Monday. So as soon as I get that stuff in, I will be um, like assembling it, putting this car back together so we can run it uh, and start tuning. I'm really excited. Uh, we still have to do a fuel pump, uh, but we can at least start the uh, 93 octane tune, uh, start getting that dialed in, and then once we do the fuel pump, we can uh, start with the uh, the 85 stuff, and we'll blend it together, and have a nice tune. So, thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, please uh, like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, and check out Simple's website, which I'll put in the description. Uh, we are having a massive sale on all stickers, like, stickers are like three bucks shipped so if you want a sticker or you haven't checked us out yet check us out pick up a sticker really appreciate it all the proceeds help this channel uh greatly and uh yeah i'm registering for global time attack today so definitely going to be there and we're gonna have a good time so thank you guys for watching have a good day peace